What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you a new tweak called SB Rotator for iOS 8. So if you guys aren't familiar with this tweak, this was actually available in iOS 7, but it's been updated for iOS 8 and basically allows you to rotate your springboard. So this is going to work on devices that aren't supported, obviously. So usually like on the iPhone 6 Plus as well as the iPad, you're able to natively rotate your device, but you can't on smaller devices like the iPhone 5S. So you can see right here, if I go ahead and rotate to landscape mode, that we actually get a landscape mode. So we have all of our dock icons right here on the right hand side, and of course all of our springboard icons right here. Now we also have some toggles to, you know, rotate all the way upside down, as well as right and left. So this is going to work any way that you turn your device. So if we go into the settings here, and we scroll down to SB Rotator 8, you'll notice that we have some toggles here. So you have enabled, obviously you want to turn that on if you want to uh, use this tweak. And if you do make any changes here, you will have to respring your device. So just keep that in mind. And we obviously have some toggles here to rotate the springboard. You can even rotate the lock screen. I'll show you that here in just a second. And you can change the actual springboard rotation style. So if you wanted to rotate like the iPhone 6 Plus, which is what we were just doing, then you can tap that and toggle that on. Or if you want to use the iPad rotation, then you can use that. So if we tap on that, this is one of those uh, settings that you don't have to respring your device. So you can see right here if we go back and just in my opinion This doesn't look near as good as just the uh, iPhone 6 plus layout just because they kind of look a little clunk together But again, this is going to work in every single Rotation as you can see right there. So again, let's go back to the settings here And if we continue to scroll down, you'll see that we also have rotating orientation So this is what I was talking about if you want to toggle off left right or upside down, then you can do so right here. Right here, this is gonna change the rotation duration. So basically, how long is that animation going to take place? You can move this all the way up to three seconds. And you don't have to change anything right here either. So you can see if we go back, you'll see how slow this actually rotates. So you can see exactly what the animation is actually doing. So you'll notice the uh, size of the icons actually change as well. So if we jump back in here, you can just tap on reset to default duration, if I could tap that. And then it's gonna go back to the, obviously, default duration. So you can speed that up or slow it down just depending on your preference. Right down here, we also have rotate application. So this isn't going to give you, you know, the, the two pane uh, layout that you get on iPads as well as the iPhone 6 Plus, but it is going to allow you to rotate these applications. So you can see right here that we have one for settings, so I'll go ahead and show you that. If we jump back here, you'll notice that we can just basically turn our device and we have landscape mode for the settings. But like I said, you don't have that extra panel over here to be able to see what menus you're actually in and everything like that. But still, it does work just like you'd think it would. So let me know what you guys think about SB Rotator for iOS 8 in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.